Level sevens don't take off like that. Whoa! There's some turbo jets on the simple seven. Elon Musk has gone too far. <laughs> Final, final daffle. I'm pretty sure I managed to load it into the bike this time. Well, you can load a desk drive cartridge onto your motorcycle. Uh, oh, okay, you know what? Card... What's next? You're gonna play card games on your motorcycle? No, that's stupid. You, you know what I mean. We gotta get the fucking DLC daffle. No, nope, that has worked. Yes, it's the DLC. Loads faster than my computer, at least. Oh, uh, you ever try to load DOS box and you have to reboot blood like 50 times? It's around it. I don't care who the IRS sends, I'm not paying taxes! Wait, he's in the woods in the middle of nowhere, and people keep trying to kill him. You know, I'm not paying property taxes. Look, I live off grid. No, that's not how that works. You still have to pay for pro like, this is why the unit bomber did what that's he did. What, that's why I'm saying that. He's saying, go away, I'm not on the grid. And it's like, you will pay your, pay your property tax. Yeah, because... I don't know why they have a thick, like, New York accent when he's in the middle of nowhere, but... Because he still to pay property taxes even though he lived in, like, a fucking cabin in the middle of nowhere. Uh, oh, yeah, Henry's evil now, by the way. Really? Yeah, he got brainwashed while watching the MCU. I did say is that... Someone forced him to watch the first Thor film like 50 times or something. It, it's either the first one or, th or um, For the Dark World, one of the two, but yeah, like, it's implied that he got brainwashed watching one of the two. Also, it's ambiguous as to if this is the real Henry, because he has like 50 fucking clones of himself now. No. Oh, God. Well, we'll get into Henry's personality in the next game. They say some vacation helps kids grow up. It's basically something like that. Wait, are you saying that you're a kid? Or that you're on summer vacation. Oh. Um, I'll get back to that. <laughs> if you're on summer vacation, why are you work? You're on vacation. There's, he looks at his weapon. Well, you're right. I'm on vacation. Why am I doing this? And he just walks away. Like, wow, I can't believe it works. Oh, he fires the nerf gun, but it's a real bullet. <laughs> oh my god, you dislocated my nipple. Well, lesser men have died from that. What is this? Travel. <laughs> so, so kind of, I did a thing. Level of thing. Well, can I make a Nerf gun into a real gun? Yeah. Like, Tr Travis is just on the floor of a dislocated nipple. Oh! Oh! Ah, the pain! Well, to get 30, it's end up like iRobot. Oh, why do you have three nipples inside? No, wait, that one's me. Oh, God. Never underestimate a dislocated nipple. My uncle died from that in a tragic pain modeling accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only one body armor or something. <laughs> Just imagine the uh, Mortician would report, as I thought, the third case this month. Oh, I think the worst part is the engineers not reset the Twitch, so I'm pretty sure, like, Twitch is showing off as us playing in Pizza Tower or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Pizza Tower's got a graphics upgrade. Sounds like someone has shitty some vacation. Are you hiring something? Are you hiring yeah. something? What are you, Dan C. Retarded oh, or something? Oh god. I'm the goddamn Batman. Imagine if instead of... I fucking told you. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. That's pretty much what she wants. Instead of Henry coming to him. Imagine if it was... Who would be the worst person to come and... Uh, try and be him. No, no, it's still Henry, but instead of like him, it, it's Henry Cavill instead. But he's still got like the fucking. How'd that be worse? That'd be better. He's still got the fucking Geralt costume on. What? For the, uh, the Witcher? <laughs> I, like, I I genuinely, I hate the. F I hate how fucking botched the production The Witcher was. I haven't watched any of it. Okay, like, basically, the problem with The Witcher is the same problem with everyone else. They keep hiring writers who hate the source material. Yeah. You know, like, Lord of the Rings on Amazon? Yeah. Like, Henry Cavill was, like, the only person who gave a shit about the Witcher novels, and he had to continuously fight the writing stuff. <laughs> like, that's why he laughed after two seasons, because they just refused to follow the lore. But, um, no, one of the... Like, first of all, he had to fight to get a scene in where, like, Geralt's upset because Roach dies. Yes, of Because the writers just didn't give a shit. 
with um, Shark in the Vault. They kept on trying to shoehorn in a really awkward Shark scene between Geralt and another character, and Henry Cavill was just like, no, it's not lore accurate. Fuck off. And it's like, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Hey, no, it's the Witcher. What? What are you doing here? I've got a contract. Your son's some money. <laughs> wow, why do you have two swords? Oh, Steel for men. Silver for monsters. Oh, dear. I sure. can't do his accent. I don't think anyone can do his accent. There's like five different accents depending on which version of The Witcher you're listening to. I was thinking from the game, but... Yeah, but I know that's not Henry Cavill. The, the audiobooks have a different accent, and also Henry Cavill has a different accent. <laughs> The funny part is that, like, it's the same fucking hairstyle on the sprite as the last game. We have to wait for the next game to get his new hairstyle. Order of the Emerald Nun. Now, because you owe me some money, I'm going to need to see some gold. Or silver. I don't have anyone near that kind of money. Come on, toss a coin to your witcher. What's a witcher? Why is Henry talking for a person now? <laughs> well, is he gone full Command Shepard? But after he says that, I should go. Well, bang, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but, but brother, don't we? Oh shit, I knew I'm fucked up. Go Henry, back, go back. Henry, your contacts are here. They can't have my brand. I have special eyes. <laughs> Did he just steal Batman's car? <laughs> I had two more pavements on that. No! Great, now imagine the third grade, because I've seen those uh, aliens. Like, when Travis in the street and then Force comes in. My god, sir, are you actually going to try and fight those aliens? I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that'd be Henry. <laughs> well, Henry, why'd you do that, you asshole? Just punches the reporter in the face. Yep. That narrows it down. Ah, uh, where now? Let's play again. Where in the U.S. are they describing? Chicago. Well, uh, I didn't say it, you did. Oh, the fucking Mayor Beetlejuice and her math on fat being problem. <laughs> so many people compared it to a bass on the wall. Cause she fucking looks like. Was it? No, sure, not math on fat. Fentanyl. That was it. The fucking... Have you seen that recent picture over the years? Jesus Christ. Well... Just the sheer amount of photoshops of Laurie Lightfoot into Beetlejuice. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, that random dojo and skip real good. They basically just turned her into a parody of Cobra Kai. Spe speaking of which, like, that's worth a watch, by the way. The first two seasons, at least. Cobra Kai. Yeah, it's like a Karate Kid spin-off. Oh. But um, what I love is um, they have a surprising amount of realism in season one, because, like, in the third episode, he realises, I actually need to teach some fucking students <laughs> to get me to keep the dojo open. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because they never address that shit in the movies. What? Then that? Oh my God! Our teacher teaching us martial arts. Is an assassin? What gave it away? Well, she was covered in blood. Also, the Matrix wall of katanas on the back room. <laughs> what well, do you think that in a dojo? If she just says words, I'm gonna need swords. A lot of swords. Yeah, just the like uh, uh, pounds of wool come up and just um, brutal mighty style. Two like long cabinets of swords just jut out into the jo dojo. If and you're not expecting, you basically get. Crushed against a wall. And also the middle of the floor flips over to reveal like a fucking radar map of the entire United States. <laughs> Shinobu, when the fuck did we install all of this? Yeah, and then she will go over to what's that sound? <laughs> oh wait, let me just flip it. <laughs> and the student's there. God damn it, you've kidnapped the engineer. I was down there for twenty minutes. <laughs> wow, really that long? Why didn't you hear me knocking? I went to grab a coffee. For twenty minutes? Yeah, it takes a long time, bro. 
I, I swear these guys, like, I swear the art show, the kids are reference for specific manga, but I can't place the name. Shashim following them for the 20 minutes. Oh, nice of them to be polite enough to wait for the children to leave. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, that's going to be one of my favourite cliches is when the assassin's just overly polite. Well, a lot of the time is, it's not just killing a mark, it's doing so. That will draw like, national news attention. Mm. So, the quicker thing they can do it to observe better for them. Oh, gosh, there's a really good example in um, that fucking Brad Pitt movie that came out recently. Bullet Train, that was the one. Is that Brad Pitt? Yeah, that's Brad Pitt. Because oh. um, there's just a bit where, like, one of the guys he's fighting him on the scenes, they just stop and grab shit off the duty-free trolley in the middle. Remember, the stand user will attempt to blend in. <laughs> the stand user. Also, his appearance is completely different from his appearance in the sequel. <laughs> Mr. Black or Mr. Wormhole. Oh, trying to figure out which one of them is the bottom in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, uh, Mr. Wormhole, a.k.a. Sir Not Appearing in this sequel. Wait, does this mean they're just incredibly uh, dense? Yes. <laughs> Wait, how about I jack your broadcast planet the fuck up? What? What does it even mean? Oh, the aliens. You get your ass to Mars? I'll, I'll erase your ass because there's got to be total recall. Well, I'll erase your ass. That's what Satchel was like. What? You mean, like, on the cheeks? Or... Well, so when someone knocks on Travis's door to say the aliens are invading, someone's going to join the door, and he's going to open the door from the side and go, Hello? Yeah. I love the fact that, like, because of the limit, the deliberately limited spray art, they just made the aliens WWE wrestlers. <laughs> like, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Or something. Oh, uh, we read ahead in the script. <laughs> I love the fact that they just completely changed Mr. Blackhall's personality in the sequel. Because he's a really grumpy Texan in the sequel. Instead of here where he talks like he's from Southern California. Well, Travis, like, time to call a friend. It's just like a bald eagle. Yes. Carrying an American flag. <laughs> oh, what? oh, God, no, that's a porno name if ever I've heard one. The West Milky Way Hardcore Hope Brothers. Wait, there's some. There, there's the East Milky Way Hardcore Hope Brothers? I mean, in all fairness, the Milky Way has an East, so you know. Just stay away from the North Hardcore Hope Brothers. But those guys are wanted in there. No, they're wanted. Uh, their rap sheet looks like a CVS receipt. Oh, their rap sheet makes the Pope look like a daycare worker. What the fuck does what? that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> well, so the I'm just imagining him now uh, in daycare saying, You are all blessed, my children. Well, yeah, we are children. I know that's what I said. So, yes. should we uh, no, take a nap? Yes. You may rest. <laughs> oh look, the daft drive transformed into a robot lost. Deirdre. 
death and drive. Prepare yourself. Wait, why are you unzipping? Please ensure 499 to continue the poem. Well, so the poem is like reading uh, to the children. But first, lecture from Ode to Spanta. I hope you see. Oh, the Catholic Church just converts to Spanta. Yes. Oh, notorious big. Oh my god. He's a stand user. He's lost a lot of weight, though. Oh, remember, the enemy stand users will try and bring one in. Soundtrack. Yes. My championship belt. Championship belt has Google on it, boy. Oh, you see, what Trav should have done is instead of M for manager, he just turned it round. So it's W for Wombo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's Wombo? What? You never heard of Wombo? <sighs> oh, just casually shit on Fortnite. Yep. <laughs> Standies were seeing each other out. <laughs> Absolutely no subtlety. I mean, I kind of get. So, what? He's back from the CIA headquarters. And then the games console turns into a giant robot, help out and killing him. Average Tuesday. Average so all Tuesday. All this is happening in Chicago. Just a games console turned into a robot and attack a dojo. Yeah. Where the Pope happens to work. And everyone in the streets just like curse you and your terrible political policies, Gavin Newsom. Well, Gavin Newsom is the. It's a little known fact that Gavin Newsom is actually a new mayor of Chicago. Is he not? No. Who the fuck's the mayor of Chicago? Roy Lightfoot. I think. Oh, sorry. No, that's my mistake. Sorry. I'm next to Chicago, California. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, yes, that expression is exactly what I wanted in response to that. Engineer, just put my expression right there. I know I wasn't recording it, but I think you have the perfect phone which encapsulates it. Oh. That's, per that, yeah, that's the exact picture I was thinking. Thank you. Engineer help, my brain's fucked from all the painkillers. Well, did the doctor say to take the entire packet per day, or just one tablet in the packet? The doctor didn't say to take anything. Oh, so you uh, went to... Uh, uh, have you got the stuff? Yeah. What are you buying? Oh, what's that? Just what, Let me just read the label. It's a fentanyl? Just casu wow. casually taking some stuff over the counter. It's all good. Over just... the counter? Beyond the counter? It's so all over the counter, beyond the counter. What? In the farms, are you just like, hmm, I think your shoelaces are not done. Really? Looks down. It is. And so they're busy doing the shoelaces. Well, you've got one of those, oh, one of those long grabby sticks, which people used to, and it's, you're there just grabbing like two bottles and things like that. And then when it's time to stand up, oh, thank you, Ben. But anyway, that's the I think your tie's undone. That's the story. Really? That's the story of I'm my not trip. wearing a tie. That's and then you kind of, like, get a tie, you haven't tied it. Just kind of throw it so, um, uh, that horseshoe, uh, throwing, so it goes around the neck. So, Look at this. Oh, thank you. I never noticed that. And so, uh, when they're turning around doing that, you're just grabbing more shit. And that's the story of my trip to Cambodia. Cam what? Well, you're going to a Cambodian pharmacy. Well, Cambodian pharmacies have the best sleeping pills. Don't judge me. Anyway. Could have face off against them in Pitfall. Pitfall. Yeah, it's got the cursed Jack Black advert. Just last night, I was lost in the jungle with Pitfall Harry, surrounded by giant scorpions and man-eating crocodiles. That referee's fucked. Okay, so this is a reference to the first game that Suda 5 1 did, which was a pro wrestling game where you're a luchador who commits suicide at the end of the game. <laughs> I thought you were about to say at the start of the game. <laughs> no, that would have been epic. Oh, well, I've been and my first drink, bang. <laughs> then it's like the credits roll. 
then person buying it. Well, is that the entire story? And some it still has a longer story than Destiny. <laughs> Somehow it's still a better received game than Death Stranding. <laughs> oh, get ready, Sam. The Deadly Standing 2. He's, a... he's fucking making it. I thought, again, the first game was pretty self-contained to try and make a sequel. No, ex exactly. Than the first. Exactly. Like, I can't wait to see what the fuck he does for the Deadly I mean, Standing 2. It could work if he does, like, a prequel. Like, no. How the event set up. No, it's explicitly a sequel. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have kind of problem with Kyoto is nice little, but get your ass stuck back into death. What? Oh my god, Sam, I've just realised. If you were here, it's the last in Kyoto. It's an anagram of Tokyo. It is, right? Probably. Okay. And if you, if you take Kyoto and rearrange the letters, take a couple out, and then has a couple more, spell Sam did 9 11. Sam, I? He can't keep getting away with it. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me though. Well, you think he was on one of the planes that, you know, just a commercial pattern plane. Alright, uh, it's time to bail. He just opens the, car, uh, the door mid flight with the parachute. Oh, this is the shocking plot for us. Yeah, you know, do a, a base jump from a moving plane in New York City with all the skyscrapers and no one found him? It's going to turn out that Sam Hyde knows where D.B. Cooper is. <laughs> Who's D.B. Cooper again? <laughs> the guy like hijacked a plane and then jumped off it and they never found the body. Uh, what was that guy recently, um, Critical Talk to the guy who deliberately crashed a plane for views? No fucking clue. I, I just know that he jumped out of a plane. I don't know who he is or what he... It burns on YouTube, a uh, hard small plane. What? I love the fact that he named his daughter after a sister. Like, this is just confusing now. Yeah. So, so we've got Gene the wrestler, Gene the cat, Gene his daughter, and then like I'm pretty sure there's another Gene as well on top of that. Oh. I wonder if Ryu really just did never come back after the first game, huh? And so he doesn't live full time with them? No, he lives in the middle of the trailer in the forest so that assassins don't come after his house directly. Because they know he's not there. Uh huh. Uh, him getting together with Sylvia is still fucking hilarious. In a month. If I'm not back in a month, send Link. Who's Link? Never mind. <laughs> Feed tuber now. Oh what? no. What? How old is she supposed to be? Like, maybe six? She's very chunky. Ah, just doing unboxing videos, are we? Well, so she's there in her room, and just the fire alarm is going off. Uh, now guys, uh, look at this new game. It's a Final Fantasy 13 3. That is the fire alarm in my condo facility. And the problem is, the fire alarm in this condo facility has a nasty habit of during the middle of the winter, especially when it's very cold, of going off as a malfunction. Um, I know I'm not old enough to buy it, uh, to play it, so I'm not actually going to play it, I'm just going to unbox it for just 20 minutes later, and uh, yeah, that's kind of my review. Just just the finest fucking unboxing video, unboxing $6 million worth of lightsabers with Sam Hyde. <laughs> Brackets, we deep fry them afterwards. What? Yeah, no, that was an actual video. He unboxed five thousand dollars worth of Funko Pops and then deep fried them. Why? <laughs> because Funko is a waste of time. Like, then in why the did he buy them? Look, man, I was young and I'd made mistakes before. Why did I? Why would he buy them just to destroy? Why is he supposed to be a cowgirl now? Why would Sam Hyde buy them just to destroy? Because he's a nihilist. God forbid you hit a pedestrian. What's the first thing you're thinking? Did I damage my car? Again, the man decided the kitchen didn't need cabinets and decided to just punch them off. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys, sorry. No, I saw a picture a few weeks ago saying that uh, to really stick it to uh, J.K. Rowling, this person bought like, the highest tier version of um, the Harry Potter game just to destroy it. Mm -hmm. And lots of people pointed out that, yeah, so you gave a lot of money through the sale of that product to J.K. Rowling just to destroy the internet, which makes that addition 
more valuable because there's less out there because in, you just destroyed one. In all fairness, Sam Hyde will have made more money from the VG of him deep frying the phone coast than he'll have spent on the phone coast, though. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, go ahead. Why is she dressed like a cowgirl? She changes out for every game. What are you fucking talking about? So how long has it been since the second game could have determined how old the daughter is? Like, two or three years or something? So, this. No, 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 it's like... No, I'm going to have to look this. It's probably at least five, I reckon. Yeah, because, well, the daughter's, let's say, maybe four. But already knows what a VTuber is and has, what, a YouTube channel or a Twitch? Oh, look out, we're going to go browsing for all of the weird-ass Pyrocynical fan art. Pyrocynical? Oh, he has a lot of furry roll 34. Of course. Well, then, later on. Daddy, what is it? I found this weird chair. Should we get it for the lounge? What kind of chair? No, a not continental the continental breakfast, breakfast chair. chair? No. Oh, no. Oh, God. I mean, in all fairness, we have a lot of weird furry roll 34 if you know where to look. Well, yeah, if you know where to look, but... I've hired people. <laughs> well, that's not saying, oh, yeah, if... If you want some decent stuff, I know people who know people. I mean, Gra what Gra if I don't? Granted, Borb's making most of our channel artwork, but still. Hey, Hunt? What, they have a son as well? Oh, uh, $50,000 for the big guy. <laughs> the uh, Hunter isn't the big guy. Go by it. 10% for the big Hunter's guy. not the big guy, Travis. Is. <laughs> well, remember, Hunter went to what, paying like $50,000 in rent? Of this one apartment every year or something. I don't know about this. Which the... is a lot more than the market average for that area, which people are suggesting that's a form of money laundering. I don't know what. Oh, Death Metal was um, the guy you killed at the start of the first game. With the giant swords. Of the guy in the mansion? Yeah, yeah. They're in his house at the moment. <laughs> Travis just owns it now. Oh, it's in his forehead, okay. Well, that's like the stump for horn, like in, uh... No, that's the Daft Ball. What's the film, uh, with Ron Pillman as a demon? Um, Hellboy? Hellboy, yeah. Please, uh, please play 4.99 for the rest of this DLC. <laughs> please play 4.99 to see the fight scene. <laughs> this would happen if it was, what, EA or whatever? Yeah, but they're trying really hard to pace take EA though, so like it's all good. Something is closing in. And she's got like a pair of binoculars. Is that a spider? Oh shit, he made bail already? He's back! <laughs> no, not Spiders George. Anything but Spiders George. Oh. Uh, well, he's just walking down the street with no fucks left to give with like a cigarette in his mouth. Yes. How a spider smokes a cigarette, we'll never find out. Uh, speaking of weirdest animals, we need to talk about Dracula's pet bee. Because <laughs> it's one of the weirdest fucking special effects failures. From all okay, so we're going back to original Dracula, the old Belagosi movie, right? So you, you know how, like, in the in the old Dracula movie, he, like, brings his coffin over on, like, a boat and stuff? Oh, yeah, because he has to sleep in the coffin with Earth from his homeland. Or yeah. So, so, um, so, yeah, th so they have Dracula's coffin and then, like, his vampire rides, and there's a scene where, um, they're all waking up in the crypt they're hiding out in, and, um, they wanted to do a special effect where, um, Dracula emerged from his coffin in the form of a monster, right? But because the special effects were limited, what they did was, um, they built a miniature coffin and then just stuck a bee in it. It's just very obvious that it's a tiny coffin with me in it. So, like, it looks less like Dracula emerging from his coffin as a monster and more like Dracula bought his pet be a tiny coffin. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you imagine that? A uh, vampire bee? I've seen you. Wouldn't that just be a wasp? Oh, if you're in the furry community, any animal can be a vampire if you um, draw it as one. Any, I don't know if you draw a 
What is this like the squid thing? Just get any. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, I've seen. I've seen new th- layer. So got uh, as the background. New layer. Just kind of crudely put like red eyes, some fangs, I th- and half the image. You know, like half the size. Just dedicate half the picture. No, I'm to sure. just some random text saying uh, this background. No, I'm serious. It's like a sub genre where you do like regular personas, but as vampires. Like, I swear to god, this one guy who was like a vampire Komodo dragon, this is Fasona or some shit. Vampire Komodo dragon? <laughs> uh huh. These things are vicious enough. Komodo dragons are fucking weird as well. Like, God, this art style looks familiar. They'll eat basically anything. No, but also their saliva stops your blood from coagulating. Mm-hmm. Like, and they attack with their mouths with all the. that you get infections. You might die because of infections. And their powerful tail to whip will just sweep your legs out. It's like, even if you don't know, like, you will just die from your blood, not coagulating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the art style looks like half and half between Fist and the North Star in early Dragon Ball. What the fuck's going on there? The Impelda? Yeah, he has like a grappling hook on. So, so the plot of Kill and Marathon is it's essentially like running man on crack. Like, they have a contest where they have to run from one wall-off city. Like, they have a wall-off city, and they have to run from one end to the other, and the last man standing gets pardoned from all their crimes, is the general story from what I remember. Oh, no, but, it's, it's the main character from Metacus or Delta. But the, the, the weird thing is, like, for some reason, instead of being, like, in-universe, instead of being an action game, they make Kill a Marathon a pinball game? What? And um, because the character has no fourth wall, he's aware of the fact that he's in a pinball game, and he's annoyed because he can't kill people because it's a pinball game. What the fuck? I fucking hate this level. I fucking hate. It's genuinely the hardest because like you have just enough time to get from one end to the other. Yeah, no, so, so in universe it was supposed to be like an action platformer, but then like it was unfinished, and then some guy finished it as a pinball game. Which has made the game cursed for some reason. Forty one thousand kilometers. Silver face. Not the weirdest character name in this series. What's next? Taserface? Do you remember that time they just had a guy called Million Gone Man that was like all the James Bonds in one character? Is that the guy Shinobi face? Yeah. And he had like Pierce Brosnan's face with um, Sean Connery's voice. He just lived in the vault with his own money. Yeah. And maybe one of these days we'll figure out why your dad hates um, Roger Moore. Right, we have three minutes. Fucking run for it. I'm not joking when I say we have just enough time to get to the end. Oh, oh god, oh man. <laughs> oh god. All of these specials were possible. Oh, I'm pulling, don't worry. It's cool, just like be careful with the pinball bumpers. Fuck, uh, uh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I got hit by fucking all of them. That was excellent. So that scene chick on me falls into every single pipe. Or that scene from The Simpsons where it's like Chill Bob hits all the rakes. You remember that one? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You see the Simpsons 750th episode recently? Yeah. The couch gag for it was they had literally every character like hidden in the intro. But um, there's this weird blog I've been following that like recounts weird Simpsons trivia. Yep. And in um, the 750th Simpsons episode, the couch gag is the first appearance of Lionel Hutz, the lawyer character, for like 
seven years or something? Because his last appearance was in like the episode where they had the Who on his guests. Right? Yes, exactly. The bad stuff, the band on stage. Who was on third? Oh, no, no. Who's on second? Oh, the second guest. So who's the first guest? Open, clear skies. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh shit, we got 60 seconds. Start <laughs> Really? Really kill stuff? Really? Oh, for fuck for that. For sure, like... Wait, so I imagine this discussion they're having about the uh, episode of Spongebob. Did you catch the episode? No. Oh, who was on it? The Who. The Who? Yes. They're on first? No. No, no, we're full health right now. I still love the fact that My Little Pony must do that joke perfectly. What is this? Just start killing the bumpers quick. Do you see why I hate the stage? Um, yeah, we're going, we're going up for the top right there. I'm just because I'm telling you, but what do you think of people in Tears of the Kingdom just torturing corals? Oh, Tears of the Kingdom, like, I fucking love it. Like, I have seen no spoilers from Tears of the Kingdom. Because all of the footage I've seen is just fucking Looney Tunes simulator, essentially. The first sort of things apparently were people just crucifying corks, like they just kind of put them on crosses. One, there's but one. Then people start getting more creative. There's one guy whose YouTube channel is just nothing but him building increasingly large car rock spit roasts. <laughs> yes. It's because of the quest reward from the previous game. Shit. So they decided to punch them. Just unload all your powers. Yeah, we're gonna be real fucking close in this level. Like, I hate this level, I'm gonna recharge your butt. You despise this level, so I might despise it. With the passion of a million suns. Was that an always sunny reference? I don't know, maybe. Oh, can we talk about the mail, Sam? The Dino talks about the mail like a box is full of Pepe. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. What, the person behind all this? <laughs> yeah. Or just Travis in the Oh, shit, buddy. Oh. Why is he explaining all this to Batman? I fucking love that, that scene with um, Charlie Day in front of the honey board, though. Kit, like. I, I, I swear to you. It popped up as an official Sonic the Hedgehog You sent me that movie. picture yeah. from the comics, or... Uh, IDW or something? Yeah. I just fucking love how they recreated the moon perfectly. Uh, what do you think of in uh, several of the trailers for uh, the new Spider-Man animated film? They have the Spider-Man pointing me. All stations stop Spider-Man. I hope, that, like, I love, I love the fact that they referenced it in both films. I hope they reference it in the third one just to continue the cycle of stupidity. Third one. Yeah, there's gonna be a third one. Oh. Bomb for some help. I'm gonna commit a fucking murder and I'm gonna cut a head off. If we can't get past these fucking damn bombers. Which health is some way help? Oh, 
Oh my god, for 60 seconds. Oh, thank the fuck for that. Well, I just said touch the coin. I think it was more me running into the plane that did it. Level 7s don't take off like that. Whoa! There's some turbo jets on the simple 7. Elon Musk has gone too far. <laughs> no, just take off from a standing well, yeah, So how did it just hover, just levitate straight up and then go? The power of superconductor electromagnetism. <laughs> Not only do they install turbo jets on the 7, they install veto capability. What was, it? was it in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? What plane were they using? Where it had like VTOL they could turn the engines or some shit. Ah, ah, ah. Oh god. Okay, just made it through. Ah, fuck! Get, get, get in, get in, get in where? This is reverse. Hungry, hungry, hungry hippo. Oh, do you want ants? Let's see you get ants. Fucking Red Dead Redemption, ass buffer fuckers. What Red Dead? Hey, how many giant floating skulls were there in the Wild West? Uh, yeah, I know, that's how it's always the buffalo skull. Like, where's the rest of the buffalo? <laughs> Oh, but there's more shit that's spawned up here. Well, he said in the voice where, oh, what the fuck? Ah, fucking bone. Where's uh, one of the guys from Organization 13? I was going for Doofenshmirtz because that's an actual line for the thing, but yeah. That dude is like evil and cold. Oh, There's someone keeping school, what's the like, soundtrack? Some woman talking. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me Japanese games like soundtracks of them talking. Wario Land 4. Wario Land 4 has one of the weirdest fucking concept albums. Like, you know how artists keep doing like weird ass albums? Like, um, there's some guy, that I don't know the artist, but the, like, there's, there's some artist who's done an album that you can only get on Spotify. Like, you have to listen to it on Spotify, there's no physical album. Like, Wario Land 4 tops that because they've got a concept album that you can only listen to on a fucking Game Boy cartridge. What? Yeah, yeah, because the guy who did the soundtrack for Wario Land 4 just made a concept album in the game's soundtrack. Reminds me of, because uh, listening to Doug Doug, he has an album of like, music he listens to slash uses on the stream. So I've been going through that, among other things. And so, what was the Sonic game on the DS where you played the Blade? Sonic Rush. Sonic Rush. So when the soundtrack from there um, was a song, I'm not kidding you, talking about coffee, but it was actually used at a civil rights rally as an analogy for relation to white and black people. They incorporated that into a song. Beautiful. Like too black or something? Too dark? Or... Weird. People in the comments were explaining the context of this. Mm, but it's like fragrance of dark coffee. Oh, I think we've still got like one more fucking level to go on this as well. Do you think the next one's the city? <laughs> Off we go to Birmingham. Oh god. Oh, just like Catherine Tate sketch where the ends up in Tottenham and she has a nervous breakdown. Oh, did you see her announcing our points for Eurovision? What, Catherine Tate? Yes. No, I didn't watch Eurovision. Yeah, I only watched a bit. Fucking Catherine Tate, really? Yeah, she was reading out uh, like the public schools or whatever it was. That's actually awesome. And in Reese's words, we're saying, is she drunk? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, because she kept laughing. She seemed unsteady on her feet and seemed to be flirting with the cameraman. Or the audience. Or something. Honestly, that's just regular Catherine Tate. 
Yeah, the song that should have won Eurovision was Finland, but no Sweden won. Yeah, just to be jump in the hole. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit, we got two minutes. Take my horse to the old time we were with. Who's Pepe to Silver behind all this for? Oh, I don't think Pepe saw these behind this, but like. What Travis is looking at? Oh my god, that's his full name, Pepe to Silver, your face. It all makes sense now. Silvia's brother. Ah! Get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. Fucking run. Fucking run. Well, the driver's like, now this package for the death drive sent to Pepe to Silver. Well, I've looked all around this area, even checked the local uh, records office. No Pepe to Silver has ever lived here. So who is Pepe, huh? Why do you want this death drive? Then I Batman's like, hey, if it was a choice, if it was addressed to him, why do you have it? Okay. Well, I stole it, of course. I've got boxes full of Pepe. <laughs> you fucked us over oh. so hard. Why did you bring us all the way back here? You fucked us over so hard. How did you do that? Right, stay in sit. We've got 60 seconds. Stop fucking... <laughs> Pay attention to the bumpers this time. I will kill you, pencil. I will... What? I, will... I tried to jump around there and it... No, you can't jump over them. You have to wait. That's the whole point. I will kill you with a pencil. What? That was not my fault. Absolute bastard. The bumper got me. Absolute bastard. You saw that. I saw you fucking off. What? Major's that oh god, I got caught again. I think, with the Wim High Ash, we might still make it. What? You're an idiot, boy. You're an idiot, boy. These bumpers. Hey, we finally found it. This is the old tongue road? How could you take a horse down here? I mean, the bumpers would kill them. Yeah, it's got character though, which is what's important. Like oh, fuck for that, right? Last stretch, last dark and terrible stretch. Oh. Off we go, off we go to um, right. Or left, okay. I thought you meant my left. We both have the same left. <laughs> but enough about my trip to Miami. Not your trip to Miami. Just going to an abandoned train ride and then throwing some bowling balls everywhere. Mmm, the joy of a sh It's not properly sh unless you do it at least three times a week. As yeah, I just told you. Three times a day and then get a wooden spoon. Oh my god, is that the space train? It's the Polar Express. Oh, uh, the Polar Express is a movie that trains way too fucking hard. Yeah. It's used as an example in the Uncanny Valley studies. It's, it's like it's a movie that was trimmed way too hard to make a Christmas classic, though. Yeah. As opposed to Klaus. Klaus is a really fucking good movie. I don't think I saw it. I like Klaus. It's one of my. It's my favorite fucking niche subgenre of Christmas movie. Santa origin story. Like amazingly, there's enough of those movies to like be a subgenre. <laughs> Klaus is fucking god though. Also, it's got Norm Macdonald in it, <laughs> and also Santa's played by J.K. Simmons. I'll be watching it. I love Klaus. The animation is fucking witchcraft. Cause it's like a weird hybrid of 2D and 3D. Mm -hmm. It's all fucking good. Like, we're watching Klaus at some point. I can imagine so, uh, a kid on saying, hey, what would you like, good? Uh, can I have a bike? And he does the, uh, the laugh. You serious? 
<laughs> oh, we've reached space, the one place uncorrupted by capitalism. Okay, that way to take us in is just as Father Christmas. Just when you found that, oh, look at this list. Look at what he's asking for. All these Xbox games. No, you get nothing. Here, you get coal. Get me pictures. Pictures of the Christmas L. What? What? A few moments later. We'll never capture Tim Curry at this rate. You know people still think that he's Bach? Who? Rick Ashley. The video which has been infamous for being trolled by sending the video. Was... No, no, like, like people think that like Rick Ashley the singer, like there are genuinely still people who think that he's just a frontman for a black singer who's my show's face. <laughs> Because, like, they, like, genuinely, with the song Never Gonna Give You Up, they genuinely think his voice is too deep to be a white man. Yeah, just keep walking forward, Alan. There we go. George, that's what ends. Who's the guy I'm any human? Dragon Ball, man. Yeah, Dragon Ball. <laughs> the camera just starts spinning around. So they're having this discussion about uh, singers while well, doing all this. You ever listen to Dragon Ball, man? Eh, this new stuff's alright. Oh, I will be here after we'll hit the R button. Hit the R button. Good, good, but he's off a colossal on his health. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yep, that'll do it, that'll do it. Off we go. What is this, like the head of three water drum? Yes. Maneuver around the bumpers. Go, 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 go. Nice to see that American Space Station's going to good fucking use. Oh. Finally, a space toilet. A space toilet. Gonna have turbo turrets. <laughs> what? How does that even work? A lot of laxatives. <laughs> what? So it's like, now, after all... All this time, I finally got to visit the U.S. space station, and to honor this achievement, I have ate nothing but Taco Bell and prunes. You this achievement? I drink nothing but prune juice. And then when you approach the toilet, it's like, no, no, please. Oh. So one of the space station, let's take a jump on this photograph of Richard Nixon. So what? Someone just goes there and deliberately is like that, and then after they leave, like, oh, that's better. Next week goes into, my God, no. Oh, oh shit. What? We don't have oxygen. I hate to run that. We need to run quicker. Get to the bubbles, get to the bubbles, get to the bubbles. Whoa. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get the bubbles, just get the bubbles. Did we just pick up some No, it's running out really fast. Our credit score is going to be shit at the end of this. What credit score? What? So credit score is equivalent to how much oxygen we have? What? So someone is on the moon, this uh, space is broken, and they're just turning out. We've got a lot of folks saying, you know, this is really hampering the chance of you affording a house one day. Yeah. What? What are you doing? I need air. Yeah, we all need to improve our scores. But we do have some good tips for you. What? No, I need oxygen. Sam Hyde just comes out of the spaceship. I'm stealing oxygen from all of these people. I'm stealing from you. Oh, an Enterprise. If you think if you think that you can... Fucking Star Wars is going on down there? What the fuck? Well, is this going to be like that one Doctor Who episode? Where you have to pay for air. Sam Hyde just takes off his spacesuits. So he's using the company's air supply and just going... <laughs> I'm stealing from you. Listen, yes. I'm just... And they're like, sir, put on your helmet. No! Use your own supply or we'll find you. I don't care. I'm stealing from you. Uh. Yeah, oh my god, the sheep's ring pinball bumpers is armor. That's brilliant. Yeah, I thought that episode was a bit stupid. Oh, what? The one where he has to take his helmet off at the ends? Well, the whole episode where it's in space and we pay for air. Because there's too much air, it affects market value. Well, yeah, because the whole thing was, it was supposed to be a commentary in corporate greens. Because it was cheaper to just kill everyone and um, bring them back to Earth. <laughs> but paying for air and things just makes things a lot more difficult. Yeah, but the idea... No, the premise was supposed to be deliberately ludicrous, though. 
I don't think it's snap cube, just like the shadow in there. The elevator. on the moon. No, this before his is elevator going down. We've accidentally killed the entire stage of Colorado. No, just for that one city. With lots of high rise buildings. Fuck fuck them in particular. Fuck fuck that one high rise. Fuck that one Walgreens in particular. I made sure that we crashed. What? Oh god, it's still going. No. No, we crashed by the sea. So obviously, this isn't Colorado. This must be Los Angeles. I forget where it is, but there's one city. In, like, there's a town in America where a cement mixer crashed, like, near the village. And they couldn't move the cement room, so they just repainted it to look like a space capsule. Aha! Fuck, actually fighting stuff. Let's get to the goal. Yes, I'm, I'm aware that John's... Oh, a ramen shop! <laughs> oh, so we have to gather that all the way back? Like here. Ramen shop? Yes. You go. Only one of us needs to make it. <laughs> he said, Hans and Travis all of his credit cards. Batman's that man use credit cards? Oh, he's Japanese, of course he is. No, it's Japan. It's Japan. They use cash. He's a Japanese man posing as an American. Excuse me, half Japanese, half American. My point is, you're telling me that like this man obviously wouldn't hit fuck. Sorry, say. It's just casually breaking my controllers. No, if I want to actually break them, um, I'd take off the wrist strap. Oh, if we don't talk about the wrist strap. Fucking wee bowling trauma. <laughs> what are you saying? This is a man who I doubt he wants to go in, in anywhere near him, so he'd just pay cash for everything. Sure. Sure. Oh, Why is Seaweed so tough? Like, this, this strong guy is hitting it with a baseball bat and it's not moving. Some of that good old dunk crush. Oh. Uh, that's the thing. He was on to that, was it, in the uh, Minecraft video? We smoked your coke for. Yeah, exactly. Some of that dry, good old dried seaweed. We were about to say Drank Crush. How many hours are you going to stick in that? I'm sorry, some have been crushing too many 40s. Was that Wilbur who was smoking the block or was that? It was, over, it was over Wilbur or Jay Schlatt, it was one of the two. I think it was Slap. Keep racking up our meter, basically. Well, so Jonathan Ben was saying, you know, people like you like to tell people like me that climate change is happening. But it was pretty fucking cold out yesterday, and quick, quick, get out of the left. There's a skull on the bottom left. Uh, oh, what are you talking about? We're in Colorado right now. The seas are risen so high that we're underwater. We're in LA, you idiot. The reason why I know is because there's a ramen shop there. Everyone knows there's a large Japanese presence in California. Of course. Yeah, they used to get showed us that. They were documentaries, weren't they? Or based on a true story? I thought as much as the fake if it's a true documentary of the government. <laughs> that is a documentary. Oh, you it's just you... set in an alternate universe. You know what you are? On the channels is what you are. <laughs> I was saying to... My dad about what was the quiet bat people thing, like season four. 
<laughs> the quiet bop people. Do you remember that plot yeah, point? Of course you fucking... Because it wasn't... Um, we're looking now for... Now was trying to use it to get Murray fired. We're looking for everyday superheroes. <laughs> quiet bop people. So, are we actually in the game or not? Because. Don't, don't, uh, don't crash it at this point. We have the six staff balls. Because the, the game comes as transferred into a mech, so we can't be in the game, can we? No, no, they de transformed after Travis beat them in pro wrestling, remember? Oh my god, quick. Start using the other meter to suck the gifts at two. Oh my god, we're so close, we're so close, we're so close. Use the R, use the R, use the R. Oh my god, it's such a cost of fun. Just in a power and one shot and yeah. The one shot and with me helping. Let me also my battery not lasting for that long anymore. No, it's just because you keep doing light attacks and um, it does that. Jesus, what is that? Was um. That was quite the clusterfuck. Mm -hmm. I'm traumatised now. Maybe I have to look at pinball the same way again. Oh, I can't look at pinball the same way ever since I saw Jim Sterling with that Godzilla pinball machine. What did Jim do to it? It's a lot of fish. <laughs> Manta Force, go! Or was it Lobster Force? It was one of the two. Well, it's going to be a boss battle with all the shit pinging around. Yeah, stay out of the bumpers is the bastard. Oh place. god. <laughs> this man will go down easy, just use all your superpowers. The king of gamers. <laughs> Call me Dark Side Phil, the king of gamers. Just don't go. No, he's been out of it for a while, so Phil has taken the slot. Dark side Phil converts to Islam, a story in six parts. What? No, I'm serious, he might actually be converted to Islam. Because his fucking interview is recently just broken. The kids were in the second illustration of a pinball table. Yeah, no, the, the yeah, dead giveaway was the fucking pinball bumpers. To quote Dark Side Phil. Oh, no, he's here. I fucking love the fact this guy's questioning his own game's plot. Yep. I I can't even.
I love that he's a pacifist, but like, we have to fight him because he's programmed to be the final boss. And, like, this is so fucking stupid a plot point, it's creep. <laughs> what? So his fist has been regulated to DLC, but the rest of one hasn't? Oh, he needs that fist. Oh, Silverface, killed by stairs. What? You ever been Borderlands? Where Professor Nakiyama just falls down the fucking stairs? Yeah. I mean, he's not wrong. Mm -hmm. There have been some great bosses that have been DLC, though. Just a shame they're few and far between. I mean, in general gaming? In general, yeah, in general. It's like Final Fantasy X2. If you could fight um, Omega. Yeah, that's not DLC, though. That's in the base game. No, I thought that was a DLC fight. No. Because in the hidden... Like boss arenas. That's not DLC. That's in the base game. Huh. DLC is paid for content, Sam. Yeah, downloadable content. Yeah, I thought the entire battle was DLC. Oh, Final yeah. Fantasy X-2 is before DLC exists. 13 a concept. 13 2, I mean. Yeah, 13 2. Yeah, that's DLC. Yeah. What do you find Omega and 10 2? Uh, the tower. When you're going through the 100 floors to fight Ozma. Or Tremor, whatever the fuck it was called. Oh, let's finish this fucking game. So the whole time, bad man is just silent. Mm-hmm. Please just drink a bit. Just wail on him, wail on him. Get him before he uses a scrapping hook. Use the higher tank hook. Yeah, no, use it whenever. Go back to Tears of Kingdom for a sec. Yep. Do you think Nintendo predicted people would do all these unspeakable things to Korops? Nope. Half the action. <laughs> yeah, just the various elaborate spit roasts. And also people making basically Evangelion style mechs to defeat their enemies for them with just lasers. Yeah, the Evangelion Max. It's like someone was just captured. Some made oh, a Gundam Max. Some made a really big Gundam Max and just captured it with finally a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. I saw one person make a basically helicopter with laser cannon on the front and just so, went into an enemy base and just lasered it, it, absolutely everything. I shit you not, some guy made Anakin's pod racer. Like some guy managed to make a fully functional pod racer. Now this is pod racing. Sometimes the simple ones are the best, just people finding ways to drag the corals behind them on the horse like six or seven at a time. Good work, good work. Fuck, I gotta get distance for a second. Guys, build a bullet sponge. Just use the R attack when you get it next. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Stay alive, mate. There we go. In all fairness, he's supposed to be a bullet sponge because he's the final, final boss.
Oh, shake, 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 shake control, shake the control. Get him, get him! Home run. You win. You win. Wait, so we're a winner? This is how I usually win at pinball. I'm not allowed to take baseball bats into the arcade anymore. <laughs> What's that bit from um, Deadpool? I, I get it. You just really love ski ball. Oh, it wasn't about the dude. Apollo 11 was an achievement for all humanity. What? <laughs> The giant creepy ass shrimp game console again. It does the does just look like a menacing krill. Looks like a modern art sculpture made by the Reapers from Mass Effect. Well, no, it's supposed to be modern art sculpture because that was the point, you remember? Because oh. it was it was um, Suda Five One's concept for a future video game console. Mm -hmm. We'll just hook the player directly to the console. Mm -hmm. I still love that because Travis only won the fight by like Default. pure luck, yeah. Yeah. Because what she died first. Yeah, because she was in the middle of wailing on him and and blaz out beforehand. <laughs> like that's one of the finest fucking moments of that game. Long ass journey. Indie games for me in the meantime. Yeah, what's this indie game? Um, Sands Undertale. Like, oh no. Because when did this come out, it was... Please, please play 499 to continue the DLC. This is like 2017, wasn't it? This came out after Undertale. I've been wearing the Undertale shirt for the entire game, Sam. Yeah, but this is DLC, so I'm wondering if it was added in later. No, 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 it was um, in the beige game. Please pay 499 to some of the Great Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> so, is he friends with the dragon from Dragon Ball? I assume so. Could you melt the ice off of my front door? <laughs> like, no, that's, only the dragon could do that. That is the finest joke in a bridge series as far as Shenmon goes. Wait, you say that actually happened in the real anime? Yeah, like, it's a bit stupid. Like, in the actual anime, it's like the guy's lab was banished by the gods or some shit. And he's like, um, can you give me my lab back and break the curse on it? And then a bridge just changes it. Can, can you peel the ice off my front door? <laughs> beer. Give me beer. Is it going to be like that scene in Homestead so with WV find the stash of Tab, but her but beer? Yes. But do you want to know the worst part about it is? The beer. It's warm. No, even worse. It's even worse than warm beer. It's Bud Light. It's Bud Light. <laughs> Well, a single drop touch the tongue is like, what is this? Oh, it's piss. Piss of ink. Oh, 
Tell you what, how did he mistake that? Oh, I like that that they've both been apart for so long that it's just completely changed the relationship. Mm -hmm. So is this in the police cell being interrogated? No, they're choking at the cat, remember? Ah. The finest therapy, just talk to the cat and record it on VHS for later. Fucking creepy pasta Wait, demons. if you don't save, we can do that pinball level again. No. <laughs> no. Never again, I'm done. We can put this game to bed now. I never have to play pinball ever again. Until we play fucking Doom Pinball one of these days. <laughs> Doom Pinball. It's a mod that exists. No, of course. Hey, hey, quit fucking around. This isn't a game, you know. Get the hell out. Seriously, what the hell, man? Huh? Where is this? Open up your eyeballs, dude. We're in development. For what game? <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> Good, we can put this shit to bed at last. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see you all when we do the next one. Yep. Boy. Remember, don't choose Bud Light. There's always a better option. Remember, stay in school, get eight hours of drugs a day and don't drink Bud Light. Yeah. Bye, everybody.